Hello, chemistry students. Today I'm going to be doing the third lecture over mass to particles. So what I'm doing actually is I'm going to be putting the two conversion factors that we learned about in the last two videos into uh, one calculation. So um, our first video we talked about the mole being equal to uh, 6.02 times 10 to the 23rd particles, representative particles, and remember those particles could be uh, molecules, atoms, uh, ions, and formula units. Okay, so hopefully we've mastered the concept of how to use this in dimensional analysis. And then uh, our lecture two was over how the mole is equal to mass in grams, okay, whether this be uh, molar mass of a compound or if it is atomic mass from the periodic table for just um, a single atom. And this here um, unit being grams per mole, which allows us to communicate from the periodic table into the lab. And really today is where we are able to see how this um, conversion from mole to mass really helps us a lot. Okay, So let me just start off by uh, doing an example. We're going to be using these two conversion factors in one problem. So this is when you would start out with representative particles and you need to go to grams or from grams into representative particles. And uh, you can see the common thing between these two are the moles. The moles um, are in both, therefore we know that we can convert because uh, using dimensional analysis, we can, uh, if they have one common thing, we can use them back to back. So um, let's say that we want to weigh out or how about we weighed out that 0.2 grams of aluminum in our lab, okay? And we want to know how many atoms that was. So if you can picture back exactly uh, how much that was of that aluminum can, let's go ahead and see how many atoms that was. So what we would do, we have grams of aluminum right here, so we'd want to put grams of aluminum on bottom. Since it's an, a single atom, we are going to be using this atomic mass because um, we just are going to be looking at the periodic table. So Aluminum, let me check, is 26.98, 26.98 grams, and that is equal to one mole. Okay, sometimes this gets confusing, but as long as you keep these two separate and know that grams is equal to a mole. And then, in order to get moles out of the um, weighing to get to grams, we have to put one mole on bottom. Okay, so one mole of aluminum is equal to one mole of aluminum. And this is going to cancel out. And we can say now, we're going to use this conversion factor, that one mole of aluminum is equal to 6.02 times 10 to the 23rd atoms of aluminum. Okay, so now all we're left with is atoms. And um, let's punch this into the calculator. So we have 0.2 divided by 26.98 and I always equal it in between just because I like to and then now since that's on top we're going to multiply so now we're going to times it by 6.02 okay and now remember we do not put the 10 to the 23rd into the calculator we have 0 0.04 five atoms. So let's go ahead and put that into correct significant digits in scientific notation. So we're going to want to move this back two times. So we have one number, then a decimal. I get 4.5. Let's go ahead and just add a zero onto this. I know that's illegal, but we don't want to have it that unprecise. I keep forgetting. So uh, 4.5 times 10 to the 23rd because we ended up multiplying this number that we got from this answer by this. So since the last thing we did was multiply, you're going to add these. So this is a positive 23. If you think about it, if it was a negative 23, that would be a really small number of atoms. And in our sample, we probably had a lot of atoms of aluminum. So then we would label this atoms of aluminum and box in our answer. Okay? So that would be a two-step problem using both. So now we're able to really quantify something from a chemical reaction 
uh, we can know how many atoms are actually um, in the chemical reaction and we're able to put it straight into grams. So that's a, a really uh, neat thing that we have going on now. So um, let's say that, you know, in a formula of uh, Na3 PO4, I don't know why I put the parentheses around that, doesn't need it. But um, what, let's say we want to know if it's in a chemical reaction, and let's say to balance it, we needed two. So we have six atoms of sodium. We want to know how many grams that is. Okay? So we could take grams now, six um, atoms, it's going to be a very small number, atoms of aluminum, I mean sodium. And we can convert that into mass. We can see how big that is, which is going to be very small. So we'll put atoms on bottom, atoms of sodium on bottom. Okay. And so now these can cancel out. And of course, the only thing we know about atoms of sodium, it's a since that's a representative particle, we can use 6.02 times 10 to the 23rd. And we can put one mole on top of it, because that's what one mole always goes on top. And if we want to go to grams, now we have to put moles on bottom, so we can cancel out mole of sodium. Moles of sodium. It's important to put sodium because next chapter we start getting different atoms in here. And so if you just put the mole, you won't know which atom you're speaking of. And so then uh, since sodium is just an element, we can go ahead and just put its uh, molar mass. And so it's 22.98. And that's grams of sodium. And so now we're left with grams, which is where we wanted to go. And now we just have to do the math. So let's bring up the calculator and clear this business. All right, so now we have 6 divided by 6.02, OK? And now remember, this would be to the negative 23rd. So that negative 23rd is going to stay with us. And now we're just going to multiply 22. 0.98. So if we do that, we get 22.98 times 10 to the negative 23rd. We move this back one, so we get 2.3, which we're going to round just to 2, because we only have one sig fig, times 10. We make this number small. We have to make this one bigger, so it's 10 to the negative 20. Second, we're going to say grams of sodium. So that's a really small, small amount. Okay, But that's how you would do it, going from grams to atoms and then from atoms to grams using both conversion factors. Okay.